Hey everybody, it's Brian House for Housework and today we're going to just go real quick over how to test a starter when it's not in a car or a motorcycle. Uh, this is something that I needed to understand as well and I looked it up and didn't find a whole lot of resources on it so I wanted to show you how to do it quickly and safely. Now this particular starter, um, this is out of a, an older Sportster it's a standard starter for the most part. You can see everything's pretty much the same as if it were in a car. You can also do this, this particular test with jumper cables. In my situation, I had the, um, the terminal battery uh, uh, cables available I cr and I made a ground cable uh, just, to, just to test this out. This starter, I installed a push button start kit on it. So it makes it really simple to do this without having to jump anything. Um, in this case, I can show you how that works. Literally just positive to the positive terminal on the starter itself, ground to anywhere on the starter. I just chose the mounting bolt and push the button. We know it works, it works fine. In most situations, you're not going to have this button, so you're gonna need to create a jumper of some kind. Some people use a screwdriver, or, you know, whatever it might be. In this case, I created a jumper wire. I am taking it from the, the uh, positive starter interface. This would be wherever the button, uh, you know, the key turn would go to on the starter over to, and we're going to jump the positive. Um, you're going to see sparks, and this isn't exactly safe, but uh, it will get the job done. My recommendation is, you know, use as big of a gauge of wire as possible. In this particular case, I'm just using some smaller gauge wire. Uh, but that did, in fact, trigger the solenoid to turn over the starter armature, which makes this thing a good starter. So I hope that helped you out. Please be safe while you're doing this. Make sure there's no flammable liquids near you, um, that you're wearing gloves, and you know, you've know you got uh, the proper safety equipment in place. But yes, you can test a starter while it's outside of a car. All right, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like, please subscribe, please share.